Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be installing this shifter into my 2012 WRX. If you are not yet subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button, giving me a thumbs up, and following along with my channel to see what else I'm up to. Now I have a unboxing video of this particular shifter I'll be putting in today. Uh, you can go ahead and consider checking that out also. Otherwise, let's jump into the install and check out what tools we need to do this job. The tools you will need to do this installation will be a ratchet with a six inch extension and a 10 millimeter socket. You will also need a 12 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter box wrenches, Phillips screwdriver, snap ring pliers, and the supplied Allen wrench. Now that we've taken a look at our tools, let's go ahead and jump into the install. Now that we are in the car, the first thing we need to do is open up this center console here and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts. Now these bolts have a Phillips head in them and I do not recommend using that. It is a little bit more difficult to manage so I like using the 10 millimeter socket. Pretty much all you have to do is break it free and then you can use the extension as a screwdriver and remove the whole bolt. Next we'll be removing the boot from the e-brake and all you have to do for that is grab a hold of the whole thing and lift up and all the clips will just come loose and then it exposes your screw right here for the Phillips screwdriver. So we'll take our Phillips and remove that button head. Now with that screw out of there, this whole console is held on by one pop clip right here. So just grab a hold of it and pop it straight up. Now this whole thing is loose and we can slide it back to gain access to our shifter trim. But first we're gonna take off our shift knob, slide your boot off, and then spin that knob off real quick. Now with that out of there, what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a hold of the back and pop it straight up. Then we're gonna grab a hold of the front and pull it towards us. Slide your boot off the shifter, and now you can pull your trim off. Now that the inner boot is exposed, there are two white clips in here that we need to take out in order to take out this inner boot. Now there is a flat in here. You can use a flathead screwdriver to take these out, but you can just press down and use your fingers and unscrew it pretty easily. Now we can take off the inner boot. Now with our shifter linkage exposed down here, we will be using the 12 millimeter socket and wrench to remove the bolt and nut off of here. And then just slide your bolt out the side and now your shifter is free. Moving your shifter to the side, you can see those two holes right there. That is where you will use your snap ring pliers to compress that snap ring and pull that whole assembly out of the socket. Slide your snap rings down in there. Get one notch in at a time. Compress your snap ring. Once you get it kind of pulled up, you can pull up on this also. And that will release the snap ring. And then you're going to want to gently pull out the shifter assembly because there are O-rings around the white bushing holding it in. Now I am going to adjust my shifter height and my shift throw. And first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my shift boot and slide it on here so I can adjust how high I want it in the shift boot. Okay, now that I got my shift boot, I am going to slide this out kind of a ways and slide it into the shift boot and thread on my shift knob. 
Once this shift knob is bottomed out, I'm going to pop the shifter boot onto the coupler. Now that it's popped on, I'm going to pull it inside out. Now for me, my preference, I like my shifters pretty short. So I'm going to make sure that's tight. I'm going to push this all the way in and then use my Allen wrench to set that height. Okay, with that being tight, now I will unscrew my knob. Now that the top is set, now I'm going to work on the bottom. I'm going to use my stock shifter as a reference point. So if I hold it up next to each other, I can see that right there, they are the identical length. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to push this in a little bit more than what's already there. And I'm going to set that as my starting point and tighten that down. So here is a side by side comparison of these. You can see, obviously this is way shorter. My throw is just a little bit less but my overall shift height is way less. So now that I got my shifter all the way adjusted, I am going to transfer over the bearings and the bushing onto this and get it put back into the car. Now when you're transferring your parts over, make sure that you're stealing some grease from the OEM part and rubbing it on your new shifter. This is gonna make sure that everything is nice and slick. Pop this on. Give it a little spin, make sure it feels like it's not too dry. Then I'm going to push on the snap ring so that when I push it in there, it's already in place. And now we're gonna pop out our bearing out of our OEM shifter. And what you will do, you will press on the back side, and that race will come out there. And then now you have your two rubber bushings here that you can just get a screwdriver and push them out from either side. There's one and there's two. Now will we take these and push them back into the new one. I'm gonna squeeze that together. And then I'm going to push my race back in. Now we are back in the car. I'm going to push this assembly back down into the chamber. Now that I got this pushed back in, I am going to do a dry practice shift with this. I'm gonna put this bolt back through, connecting it to the linkage. And then I'm gonna go through every gear and make sure it is not rubbing and it is going in every gear good. Once you are happy with how your shifter feels, you don't feel like you're hitting anything or there's not gonna be any problems, go ahead and put your snap ring back in. Make sure this is pushed all the way down to get that snap ring back in. Go ahead and put your bolt back through your linkage and then you can start reassembling your interior. So a tip, if you cannot get your snap ring back in, get a flathead screwdriver and press around the outside of the snap ring until you hear it snap. So what I am doing here, I removed the boot portion of this. This is held on by staples. I just got a, a flathead screwdriver, pop these out, and this came right off super easy. And then what I did, I trimmed the back off of this insulation and this rubber so that when you're going into second and reverse, it is not pushing up against the insulation. If you do not cut this, it will not work. And in the past, I have just not had this in and I've left it out of the car. But this time around, I really wanted to have this in for some sound deadening. So this is the solution that I'm coming up with.
All right, guys, we got everything all back together now. As you can see, the shifter is a lot shorter than it was before. And that is how you do any shifter install on an 08 to 14 WRX. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And we will see you in the next video. See ya.